Hello everybody and welcome to WorldTVOnDemand.com and JacksonAppliancerepair.com Hey today we're going to talk about is your washing machine flooding and running water on the floor or is it trying to fill up with water and just keeps filling up water and keeps filling up water I'm going to show you the issue with that and how to fix that right now So this is just a demo machine but all the machines work the same way so you just have to get inside the cabinet of whichever machine you have and they're all a little bit different but you can figure it out on this one you just take the two screws out of the back and lift the top up or on some of them if it don't have the screws you take a, a putty knife and stick under here and lift it and lift it up if it don't have the screws in the back and then you, on this particular one you want to remove the, the, the cabinet now on the newer ones, on the, on the front load ones, they have the same setup, but on the top loads you just take the two or three screws out of the back and then take the back off and you'll see the same components. Let me move you over here closer. On the console on this one, you can see this is the water level switch. And this hose right here, you want to check out this hose. But a lot of times, let me see if I can get this off. A lot of times it'll be as simple as a split right here in this hose. All you have to do is cut this hose off a little bit and put it back on. You want to check for that. Number two right here where it rubs up against this metal, you want to check it all the way down to make sure there's no holes in this hose. Okay? And now once you've done that, if that's not the issue, then you need to come over here and check where it connects to the tub. I'm going to show you that right now. Another place would be right here where it connects to the tub. Now these don't have a clip or anything on. Sometimes under pressure, they'll just pop right off just like that. So if you're having a flood issue, check that hose. Make sure it's plugged in right there. It, it can also get a split in it. Split right there. If it does, cut a little piece off and, and uh, replace it. Now, another situation, you see how it's discolored right here? Sometimes it'll get full of soap and you have to dig the soap out of there to where the hose, the pressure from the water rising and uh, the hose is clear. So you want to make sure the hose is clear. Now to make sure that the hose is clear, sometimes I'll just take it off up here at the top and I'll just blow through it and make sure there's nothing in that hose and put it back on. Now there's one more thing. If you can't get the air to go through there, there's one more thing to check because this, all these things will make your washing machine overflow and it won't shut off, it'll just keep keep putting water on the floor. So there's one more thing, let me show you. This little tube right here, you see how the soap is on this one, on this hose? Sometimes you'll get soap and scum build up inside this little tube here. And you'll need to take you'll need to take something and push that through and make sure that that is cleaned out. Make sure there's nothing in there. Make sure there's nothing in that too. Right here, in this little tube right here. And make sure that this is cleaned out. And then if you want to check your pressure switch, so now you want to check your pressure switch, you make sure it's not split at the top and it's plugged in. And then you can take this hose loose to where you have enough room here and clean it off good so you don't get nothing on you. And then you want to blow into here. You hear that hear that clicking sound up there? That's a good switch. That means it's working. The diaphragm's not broken. If you blow on it and you don't hear that or you hear air coming out up there to, at the water level switch, that means the diaphragm's broken. You have to replace it. But that one's good. And we plug that back in, and you're ready to wash. So I hope this fixed your problem. If you're having an overflow problem with your washing machine, it don't matter what brand it is, 
they all do the same thing. They all have the same setup. It may be a little bit different. The top load, you take the top off. Some of the machines, you might have to take the back off of it. But most of the Whirlpools and Kenmores, they lift off just like this. So, this is Harold with WorldTVOnDemand.com and Jackson Appliance Repair. So visit both websites if you would. I'll have links below the video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I'll have another video for you soon to help you fix your washing machine or dryer problem. I'll have another video for you soon. You guys have a great day. And this is Harold signing off, baby. Let's check you later. Problem.